Hello, how are you? This is Kimberly coming to you from Artistic Frog Studio, my front porch, and all its glory. Going to be um, boiling out some batiks that I have done. Let me grab those real quick. Uh, this has been um, through several different processes. I don't know if you can see that. It's getting kind of dark, but I'm so excited. Um, going to boil the wax out of this, and we're going to get to see what it looks like. And then this is one that I've made to go bike riding. Have that on the back, and then that's on the front. And I've had this one forever sitting with wax in it. Uh-oh, my light keeps going out. Um, anyway, I'm going to boil the wax out of that. There's a lot of wax there. So, we're going to get the process started and see what they're going to look like when they're finished. I have my pot of simmering water here. It's not boiling. And I'm just going to drop that right in there. And oh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, you can't see it. Wow, that happened fast. The wax has all come to the top. Let's see if I can grab you over here for a look. Okay, all of that is wax. Left that on the top. Now let me see, sorry for the shaky, 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 okay, and you just stir this around, this is my new artistic frog studio, um, uh, logo that I've been working on. I'm going to get some shirts going. Okay. So I'm going to push that shirt to the bottom. And I'm going to grab my little trusty cup here. Push all of this to one side. And I'm just dropping it right in there. It's going to go in a compost pile. But you just want to skim this wax off the top. Whew, it's getting hot. Get my glove on. Mm, here's my glove. I don't know. Oh, dropped it. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, what we want to do is just keep stirring that until all of the wax is out of it and has floated to the top. You don't want your water really, really hot. You don't want it boiling. Um, it's just not good. So, skim all of that off of there. Ooh, getting so 
excited. Okay. And you can do more shirts than one at a time, but for the sake of this video, oh, a lot more wax coming out of that. Um, I just did the back of this shirt. Just opted to do that. I uh, kind of wanted to wear it when I was biking. And uh, just like to have something showing on the back. So let's get all the wax to one side. And this. Getting nice and cool out here. So, kind of hard for my water to stay the temperature that it needs to be. Uh, boiling the wax out after all of the the dyeing process has been done it's going to help set that dye and kind of pre-shrink uh, it's going to shrink the shirt to where it's not going to shrink it shouldn't shrink anymore I wouldn't think that it would Now this is just, um, since I was just trying to get this design down, this is just an old shirt that I had laying around. Um, I did make sure that it said 100% cotton. You absolutely cannot use anything that has um, polyester in it. Okay, matter of fact, I don't know if you can see that where the threads are and they're white yeah there's a shot um, that dye is not gonna stick to the polyester threads that this shirt is, sh is uh, sewn with uh, I thought all the wax was out. Um, one thing I forgot to grab before the video was some um, washing detergent. That helps so much. Um, it, it helps to uh, disperse the wax, get the wax off, get it loose from the the material. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'm <laughs> got the camera in one hand and Um, I think I'm going to have to turn this down. It's starting to boil. And I don't need the water to boil. Don't want that. Okay. So trying to get the rest of the wax out here. Hmm. Had that big pot going, but it was just way too big for these three shirts. So I'll put it in my smaller pot. I'm just going to set this 
right in there to drain and cool. I think I have, it's going to be washed. Let me go through the washer and be washed and dried. Washed and dried several times. Okay, and I am going to add some more water. I've got some hot water in there. So, um, <laughs> set that down and um, grab my bucket here. And I probably should empty this uh, water out. Got more wax in there. Just try to get that little extra out before I put the other shirt in there. Okay, get my gloves off. And uh, let's um, grab the grab the next shirt and get it off the hanger here. Okay, and again, just kind of a reminder as to what that looks like upside down <laughs> before the wax is boiled out okay so look at that and put it over here in the wax I wanted something really bright. Um, ah, yeah, that guy apparently tries to impress me all the time because he rides down the street doing a wheelie for two blocks. So, anyway, that's what you get when you have an outside studio. You can't do this in the house. You really can. Uh, oh, look, look, look. Uh, but um, it's been so hot here lately. I really don't want to heat up the house. Okay, that's the wax halfway on and halfway off. That's what it's going to look like if you don't have it all the way off of there. Okay. Sorry guys. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Um, I'm going to try. Here it comes again. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put this back up. You guys saw what I was doing. You just stir, 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 stir. Let me see if I can't get this put back up here so that you can see what I'm doing. No. 
you can see. All of that or not. Let me turn this around. Let's see what we're getting here. beeswax that's in the shirts so you have a compost pile going you can just uh, do that husband Danny for getting this all fixed up for me tonight should have done this earlier today but I was up at four o'clock this morning and had to drive two hours and work and drive two hours home. So I was pretty tired by the time I got home. Okay. I think, wow, I sure thought there was a whole lot more wax in there than that. No, oh, there's still wax coming to the top. Okay. Let's let that do that. Whew. Still hot. Um, oh, so dark in here. But 
don't know if you can see that or not. The light. Let me turn it just a little bit. Oh my gosh, y'all can't see. It's gotten so dark. <laughs> wow. Video. Oops. I'm gonna cut this video short because it's getting so dark. You can't see what I'm doing. So let's go over here and um, see what we have. You can see it with the light hitting it. Isn't that cool, y'all? That's so neat. I can't wait to get it washed and dried. So, that's it for tonight. I will be showing more of the process. Sorry I didn't show this whole process earlier, but just trying to get this design figured out. So, thank you for watching. This is Kimberly with the Artistic Frog Studio. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.